Welcome back to another episode of Dominations. Our world war uh, ended some hours ago. It was our second world war in a row against uh, enemy alliance USA Dankness. Quite good fighters and their potential was quite definitely higher than ours were. Let us take a look onto our um, uh, world war history, I think it's called history. Here you see we fought <laughs> two times against USA Denkness and I didn't notice but now I see uh, both world wars ended with the same score and that was uh, quite due to the effect or that uh, to the problem that our enemy alliance was unable to plan um, in the perfect way because their players were much much higher than ours were. I did a little statistics only to count it out and we saw enemies had about four atomic age players. I think nine global age players and 11 industrial. We had a total um, four global 13 industrial and no atomic players, so in total their potential was quite quite higher than ours, but um, their strategy was not very good, they had quite no reserves and so in the end three players or even some players messed up and then because of no reserves they could not compensate and ended up with 197 stars, only from their potential and strength they would be easily strong enough to get all of our bases five star but in the end of the day it's not uh, about how be, uh, about um, being the strongest alliance but being the uh, alliance with the best strategy I think so uh, quite good fought uh, USA dankness mm, probably we see us soon our next enemy really cool uh, some Japanese alliance and <laughs> you can see it over here um, I don't want to insult anyone but this glory count is it's ridiculous we can win nearly about one percent of the glory it's less than one uh, more than one percent but uh, in, pro in total a little bit about 1.52 percent nearly um, but we can win only one percent of the glory which the enemy alliance can win we can win 15 glory and the enemy is nearly 1300 glory that's a statement i think i'm quite happy about this war and therefore because uh, i anticipate a not so hard war with his enemies i gave it away against strategy so um, one of my strongest players vova is now taking the strategist role in the next world war and i'm Quite looking forward to see how his strategy will work and how he will manage the chaos between uh, 40 players who all are asking where's my second attack, can I do this, can I attack this one? But the main topic I want to talk with you about, which you have probably recognized from the uh, thumbnail of the video, is now how to evaluate an enemy base in the right way. And that's a very important topic I recognized because it, um, at YouTube but uh, especially at YouTube over here but also in my alliance I quite very often hear that some people are saying oh my enemy is two ages above me he is 20 levels stronger and this in my opinion are absolutely no arguments because um, the, the, the age is a little bit depending on the strength of an enemy that's sure but the um, because it is also depending on the buildings the amount and the uh, upgrade stages of buildings but the level of an enemy is quite such a um, very very bad predictor how good his defense or offense is so um, I will show you two examples now Here we have the first base and we are now talking about two industrial age players. Both are actually at level 151 but the uh, differences between them are very very huge and so I only want to show you don't go and um, evaluate the level of an enemy. The level and even the age are very often misleading to a bad result. So let's see at this enemy and just evaluate. Uh, I have made a plan to show you or to guide you through this and we are starting with the age of the enemy because from the age down you can um, you can anticipate uh, for example the amount and the uh, upgrade stage of the um, traps the enemy has so for example you can see a global age player would be able to upgrade his uh, traps higher than an industrial player this guy is at industrial level so he can only have about six or seven barbed wires and this barbed wires can maximum at a maximum slow down your troops by 50 percent not 55 percent 
Also, you can go over, if the enemy is in the global age, for example, you can see enemy has researched resistance chapter, for example. This means um, that uh, um, mercenary camp, as well as tactics academy, uh, blacksmith, factory, this guy has no factory, um, but that some buildings are just spawning mm, powerful troops if they are getting destroyed. This guy is in the industrial age, so it's quite nothing of this is uh, can be a fact or an aspect. Uh, also, if the enemy would be in the atomic age, you would see, or if the enemy would be in the atomic age and has a forbidden city, you quite have to overthink and uh, take into consideration that he has researched in the library that his um, forbidden city has additional hit points. And that also means that you not easily can uh, demolish his Forbidden City with some demo tactics um, or even with your planes. That are some aspects you have definitely to concern, but this is also the onlyest reason why I'm talking about the age. Otherwise, the age is quite not important. Um, yes, Resistance Chapter we talked about. Uh, also the world wonders you can imagine or you can take into consideration so you can see especially for a Kreml an Acropolis and at least a Versailles. These are the strongest defense uh, buildings, defense world wonders, which you have to consider. Uh, Versailles because they could be placed at very um, attractive positions and they are slowing down your troops in a tremendous way, in a huge range and they can uh, be destroyed but their effect cannot be destroyed. Same with Acropolis, this effect can also not be destroyed. Uh, but the Kreml can be destroyed. I don't know. Uh, probably the Kreml effect is also working longer, even if, if it got destroyed. Next, um, the amount and the level of the defense buildings. Let's see over here. We have four mortars. Um, one mortar is still in gunpowder age. So level four mortar, very weak. Two enlightenment age mortars, level five, quite okay. And one industrial max, strong mortar, level six. Now, uh, cannon towers. We see over here one, two, three, four cannon towers, and all of them are only Enlightenment Age status. That's very weak because in Industrial Age you get some tanks, and this means tanks have a high hi um, hit point boost by upgrade, and the cannon towers from Enlightenment Age are dealing very less, very little damage to them. Mm, sniper towers. In total, we don't have the Sniper Tower over here. You probably know Sniper Tower is one of the strongest buildings you can get. And so, uh, because this building is very powerful, it is a high weakness of the space that this space has not built the uh, Sniper Tower, which is, um, yes, very symbolic for the Industrial Age. Tank depots. Well, we have, we have no tank depots, you see. Only Enlightenment Age uh, stables and one gunpowder stable. Guys, take this into consideration. Here are only running some ponies around, some unicorns. No tanks at all. That's very, um, very weak if we are talking about an industrial base where everyone would in the first direction consider or think about some tanks driving around. Also, we don't have any bunker. That means in total, the defenders which are running around are that much weaker than in a maxed out industrial base. Uh, also, we have no Acropolis, that means here we have not boosted any defenders. If you have some um, tank depots or even bunkers in the side or in the range of Acropolis, these, uh, these spawning defenders can be very, very painful to you. Next, where you can talk about what we talked about now is just um, a little uh, rough a little rough analytic which everyone can do just to estimate or to uh, evaluate how strong an enemy is. If you now want to do it a little bit more nerd-like or a little bit more specific and in detail, you can co uh, consider some more aspects which I'm mentioning now. For example, so the free spaces because if you have to attack a base, it's very um, essential that you try to anticipate where does or um, whether does the enemy want to make you attack from one side, then where does the enemy want to attack you, um, and where are the traps. So um, consider that all, in all free spaces, so for example at the street and at spaces where are no buildings, uh, that there are um, some traps probably, and when you are rallying, try to rally at the position where a, b a building stood before, because then there um, can't be any more traps. And that's very safe. Uh, you can also consider the generals, which you can see from the Enlightenment Age above to the Global Age, you can have two. In, uh, in the Global Age, you can get a third general, and in the Atomic Age, with the Pentagon, even a fourth general. 
Um, you can also uh, look about the, the walls, how high are the walls, how high are the gates, and have we some different uh, types of walls. Over here we see level 9 walls in total. For industrial age players this is quite okay, nothing to... to uh, To, uh, to critic about. The gates are only also at level 9. That means the gates are high weaknesses in the space that you uh, can just remember. At least you can talk about the streets to see whether this enemy is getting um, under or even overestimated. And you see the roads are quite maxed industrial. All other buildings instead of the mortars I think are not maxed. We have at all I don't see any building maxed. Only one mortar. Yes, this mortar is the first building which got maxed. First defensive building. That means only the street is maxed. And the street is giving you, like you probably know, very, very um, high amount of, of experience points. So when you're leveling your street, you are nearly um, increasing by 10 levels. That makes you, your base look very much stronger. But in total, it didn't give you any um, advantage in defensive way. In total, this means we have analyzed this base. Now let's go on to the next base. Over here, you see, this is quite uh, a similar base if you are just going from the level. And that's what I want to learn you or what I want to show you. Don't um, evaluate or analyze only the level. The level is very, very misleading. And I will show you now why. In the last base we talked about, we have quite um, weak mortars. Over here we have two level 6 um, maxed out mortars, two level 5 mortars. But now it's coming. The cannon towers are all maxed out industrial age. Also, we have a sniper tower, also maxed out industrial age. We have no stables like in the other base. We have three maxed out tank depots. Then we have two maxed out bunkers. In the other base there were quite no bunker and no sniper tower. And at least all of this are staying in the range of an Acropolis. That means very powerful and boosted defenders will spawn over here. Uh, what you just are not seeing in the first way if you just take a close or a, or a few look at this base. Um, here you can also talk about some free spaces. I can tell you this is my base and I, I blurred the names because it has no, um, no, no sense to talk about which, from which, uh, which player this base is. It's just to, to, to um, take a, a relation because it's no matter that it is my base. Uh, I only took my base because I'm quite at the same level or I were at the same level like the other guy. And so you can really good um, compens uh, compare both bases. In total you see very many um, free spaces over here and in the most free spaces I have placed some traps. So if you are rallying, you have to um, decide or to anticipate where to rally because if you are going to the free spaces, you will get frozen by some barbed wires. Also the generals, at the other base we had two generals level 10. Over here we have level 16 and level 15 generals and the Napoleon has a quite huge range. The walls are at level 11 and some of the walls... 39 currently are at 12, um, stage 12. The gates are even at stage 13. So nearly no um, no weaknesses inside the walls and very strong walls in total two levels higher. Um, that's about 6,000 more hit points for every piece of wall than in the other base. What we also didn't mention in the other base we had quite no air defense. Over here we have nearly we have all maximum amount but not completely leveled. One air defense is missing. Uh, if this air defense is getting leveled up also air defense is at the maximum stage. Mm. And what we see, the roads are quite not leveled. That means the roads are um, below the actual status or the age of the base. And that means the level is quite um, little, uh, not so high. It's, it's uh, fewer, littler, whatever, than it should be. That means that the space is getting underestimated. So in total, guys, I only wanted to show you, don't go from the level or even from the age. Evaluate every base from the strength and the amount of the defensive buildings instead of just simply comparing the levels of some bases with your own base, for example. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully that was a good guide for you. Give me some comments, um, some facts. Did I miss anything? I don't know. We'll see us soon, my friends. Your domination tips.